Hello and welcome to Van Life Devotions. Today is Good Friday, the day that Christians around the world remember the incredible sacrifice of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. A few weeks ago, Lisa and I had the wonderful opportunity to go to Egypt. For us, Egypt had many wow moments. I mean, we expected the pyramids to be one of those wow moments, and they were. But we also went to other incredible places, such as Kurnup Temple. I mean, those huge columns, incredible. We went to many other places, such as Abu Simbel and the Valley of the Kings. The ancient Egyptians strongly believed in the afterlife, which is a major reason why the pyramids and other extravagant tombs were built in Egypt. The pyramids were built to serve as temples to the gods and to entomb the pharaohs. As part of their beliefs about the afterlife, the ancient Egyptians believed that after death, the pharaohs would travel to the afterlife, taking their possessions with them. It wasn't just the pharaohs who could continue into the afterlife, but every Egyptian had this opportunity. However, entry into this afterlife was not guaranteed. The dead had to negotiate a dangerous underworld journey and face the final judgment before they were granted access. If successful, they were required to provide eternal things for their spirit. These things could be achieved if proper preparations were made during a person's lifetime. Such preparations included the wearing of special jewellery. They believed that such jewellery gave magical powers of protection and healing and brought good fortune. So not only did they wear this jewellery throughout their earthly life, but when they die, these items of jewellery were placed on various parts of their body during the wrapping process. Coffins were probably the single most important piece of equipment. To ancient Egyptians, coffins were designed to protect the physical body in this world, but also the spiritual body in the afterlife. And finally, tombs were also important for the afterlife. Tombs were known to the ancient Egyptians as houses of eternity. They were made from non-perishable material such as stone. The tomb itself, if designed and built properly, had the power to restore life and give immortality to the dead owner. It made sense then why these pyramids and, and the tombs are so big and their coffins so extravagant. All these preparations, all this gold, all this jewelry was for them and their afterlife. Compare these preparations with Jesus Christ. For Jesus, all his preparation and his eventual death was for everyone else but himself. He died so that we might be saved. He died so that we could be forgiven. He died so that we could enjoy the afterlife in heaven. His death was all about us. Paul the Apostle puts it very simply when he wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15, and he died for all. He died for all. It wasn't just about him. It was about us, me, you. What incredible love our Saviour has for us to die for us so that we can be forgiven and enjoy the afterlife, heaven, with Him forever. Today, on this Good Friday, remember Christ's reason for His death and come to Him in faith, praying for your need to be saved and to live your life following Jesus. Let's pray. Dear God, Thank you for loving us so much that you sent your only son, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for everyone else but yourself. Help us to acknowledge our need to be saved. Oh God, preserve us who travel 
surround us with your loving care. Protect us from every danger and bring us in safety to our journey's end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.